All right. Hello, dear. So we have touched uh, several parts of the course, and uh, we want to test our knowledge right now. So we've touched uh, various aspects, uh, which include the uh, technical report writing, how we can write our reports. And also we talked about uh, a basic knowledge that we need, we need to acquire regarding technical report writing, which involves um, use of language, uh, placement and use of uh, graphic aids, different types of graphic aids, such as uh, figure, tables, appendices, plates, and so forth. We also talked about literature review. We learned a lot about literature review and referencing, how literature review uh, is carried out, and then how we can do referencing, how we can avoid uh, plagiarism as well. So these are various um, aspects that we have studied. Now, when you check the screen now, you what you, what you see on the screen is actually a set of questions that can be used to test your knowledge. Uh, we want to know what you know about the various aspects of a research proposal, such as title, abstracts, introduction, time span. Then we want you to also write out uh, a hypothetical in-text citation using the upper seventh edition type for the following literature item, items, such as a journal article written by four authors, patent by two authors in a named organization, a book with second edition provide, uh, produced by three authors, and then we want you to produce a literature list from the cited items, question two. Likewise, we want you to explain briefly the following terms in academic reporting. For example, uh, the first one is the use of language. Uh, another one is graphic aids. Then the, la the last one is uh, we want you to enumerate uh, two benefits of literature review. Two benefits of literature review. Uh, that's actually the last question. And uh, when you look at these questions, you see that uh, we have about uh, 20 marks allocated, 20 scores. So we use this one to test your knowledge as part of the assessment and what you have learned so far in the course. So thank you very much for following through. So when you are done, you will submit this uh, assessment to your instructor. So that is it. Now for those that have been following the course from beginning, you will discover that this is not a uh, strange questions are not strange questions that you can use to actually test yourself and then i believe that you are going to do well in this uh, test <clears throat> so i encourage you all to please do it on your own uh rely on your own and do it independently do not uh, consult anyone uh because uh, that is how we can know that you are really been bene benefiting from the class and you Try following the course from the start up to this time. So, so we want to give you time to do that. And then in this uh, assessment, the time allocated is about um, 15 minutes, 15 minutes. So, so go ahead now and answer the questions. Thank you.